Hey everybody, welcome back to Birch Creek Homestead. Today I want to talk about our WD tractor. So Alice Chalmers WD was made in 1950. And this is one of our workhorse tractors. We do a lot of stuff with this tractor. So I want to give you kind of a tour on how this particular tractor works because it's not the same as most modern tractors run today. Let's take a look. Okay, like I said, 1950 WD. This was made by Alice Chalmers for a number of years. They also made the WD-45, which is extremely similar with a little more horsepower. This tractor, first thing we notice in the back, this is not a typical universal three-point hitch. This is called the two-point hitch system. They use this uh, for a few years, and it sort of caught on, but it wasn't as convenient or universal as what ended up being the three-point pitch, so they stopped using it. As a consequence, today you'll see uh, several implements that are called two-point instead of three-point. And uh, those are usually going to be Alice Chalmer, uh, at least in my experience. Uh, but they are not super common anymore. You'll see a nice big drawbar in back here. This was called a snap coupler. They used, uh, if you can see back in here, this is called that snap coupler back there. So this was a style of hitch that they used. Uh, you could take this drawbar off and different implements would slide in there and kind of click into place and it would hold it. Um, they stopped using that also not too many years after this tractor was made. Another thing that is just a little bit different here, we've got our final drive. That's a, that's a uh, hub with a final drive. Now a lot of tractors today uh, just have a straight shaft coming out of that axle hub and going to a differential here. Ours has uh, some gears in here it goes up and that gives it a little bit more clearance back here um, but again that's not super common anymore they still make them obviously but it's not as common uh, anymore so coming up here this is a step to get into the tractor we come back over to the side you see a large gap between the ground and the frame you can make it if you try but this is the easiest way to get up so I'm in sandals in this mid-November day because it's so warm, but step up here, step up there, and the seat is a little bit off center. The center of the tractor is actually right about here. So the steering wheel and the seat are both off center. Kind of cool. Different for sure. Okay. We sit in here. Right behind the steering column, we have our hydraulic control for our, our two points here. Uh, so this is almost all the way in the up position. Right side, we have throttle. This is our only throttle control. A lot of tractors today have a pedal down on the right foot with throttle control and a uh, hand control up here. Old tractors just have this usually. So this is pretty typical in 1950. Um, what's not super duper typical is this. This is a hand clutch. So now we are disengaged. Bring it up. And we're engaged. That works the same as this, except this will also turn your PTO off if you're driving with a, with a PTO engaged. This one turns your tires off. PTO stays on. That's really helpful for things like baling and thick hay, especially with those older balers. They really can't take the windrows like these new ones can. So that's super helpful. I usually don't use it. I've used it before bailing, but that's about it. Um, here's where we engage our P uh, PTO. So that's pretty typical, right? That's pretty normal. We have a uh, three speed, one, two, three, oh, four speed, my bad. And then uh, reverse. Uh, so that's pretty normal too. We have our ignition up and uh we have our lights on which is that one light up here uh and i don't think this does anything it, it might have used to but it doesn't on mine i don't know, actually know what it does even in the manual i'm not sure what it does uh let's see what else we have up here oh we duck under this we have two of these guys and it almost looks crazy like it's homemade or something but this is how it is so we pull this out that's our choke we pull this out that's our starter pretty cool
Let's go around to the front for just a second. This is an interesting manifold. This is called a dual fuel manifold. And with this manifold, it allows this tractor to run a little bit lower compression. And as a result, it is actually able to run on either gasoline or what's called tractor fuel, which is a really, really low octane version, less refined version of gasoline. It used to be a thing. I don't know if it still is or not, but it used to be a little bit more common uh, in 1950 and it's not anymore. So that's that. Okay, guys, I guess about the rest of this thing is just about like any other tractor, you know. You have your engine transmission, you have your generator, it's on a 6-volt positive ground system, but a lot of these guys were back then. And uh, that's about it. So I'm going to put some gas in this thing because it's it bone dry, which is why it's sitting where it is. And uh, ran it out of gas on the way to the shed, and I'm going to put it in the shed. So I'll start it up and kind of show you, uh, show you what's going on. I'm just giving it a little drink of gas because literally I'm putting it in the shed um, for the winter. So I don't want this gas sitting in this thing and, and getting gelled up in the carburetor and all that. I'll, I'll probably close the bowl off and uh, drain what's actually in the carburetor so it just doesn't sit over the winter. So I don't want that much in here. So anyway, let's start it up and uh, see how it sounds. Okay, fuel bowl's on. We're in neutral doesn't have a neutral start switch so it will start or try to start even in gear Let's see if I can do this with one hand ah. Ah. I'm dumb now it'll start pretty good. Oh, I love driving this tractor. It sounds so good. It's got so much power. 70 years old and running strong. That's it. I just close the fuel bowl up. And then I'll just drain uh, what's what's in the carburetor. Uh, there's a drain plug right at the bottom of this Zenith carburetor. And it'll be good for the winter. All right, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you guys following along supporting us and uh, we'll see you on the next video. God bless.